So hello friends, welcome back to Romcart. Today in this video, I will show you how to install Realme UI 2.0 or roll back to stock ROM which is Realme UI 2.0 on Realme RM6 and 5 devices. That means Realme 6, 6i, Realme 7, Nano 20 Pro and Nano 30 Forge. So the Realme UI 2.0 is the stock ROM of these devices and for Realme 7, Nano 20 Pro and Nano 30 Forge, Realme UI 3.0 is basically available which is the latest stock OS of those devices. But for Realme 6, the Realme UI 2.0 version C8 and C19 is the latest stock room. So today in this video I will show you how to install it and it's not that hard. So if you are using custom ROM for so much time that means if you are using Android 13 and Android 14 for so much time then you may want to get back to Realme UI and today in this video I am going to show you exactly that. So first of all let me show you what is the current ROM that is installed in my device. So currently I am on CR Droid 10.7 if you see here it's CR Android version 10.7 and based on Android 14. So you can follow this method both for Android 13 and Android 14 based ROMs. So let's get started. Let's talk about the files that you will need. So I will insert my flash drive right here and I'm using empty file manager right here. So I have the files in my pen drive. So first of all you will need the ROM which is the C12 RMX 2001 Global OZIP. And if you ask me why I'm using C12, so the C18 is not officially available so we have to flash c12 then we will be getting the c18 update after that and the next thing we need is the disabled vvmeter and if you want to root then you can also flash magic zip i mean magic app so let's get to the process so first of all make sure to remove the screen lock so let me go to the security and remove the screen lock so after removing the screen lock just take backup of all your data because we will have to format data and for backup i preferably backup these folders which is the dcim which includes photos from the camera and other applications then the download folder the pictures and the recording so the pictures includes the screenshots and in recordings you will have the call recording so these folders are important for me and these are what i backup personally now when the backup is done and yes if you use whatsapp don't forget to backup the whatsapp too both in whatsapp application and the folder when you're done backing up go to home then just hold the power button and they start to recovery so currently i have pc black recovery 4.0 is installed on my realme 6 which is the latest recovery for my device and if you get any error then you may change the recovery so let me try flashing the oz file from the recovery so you can see the pitch black recovery basically booted now i will go to the usb otg and i have the file right here the oz file so first of all you may go to advanced select delvi cache data and you can take this or do not take this these are optional if you use magic modules or substram overlays you can take them so after that just swipe to wipe them and when they are wiped go to install and select the OZ file and don't take anything just swipe so you can see it gave an error updater process ended with error 1 so I need to change the recovery so the latest recovery does not support OZ flashing so I will change the recovery to the old one which is the TWRP version 3.6 so let me find that so you can see here I have TWRP 3.6 right here so I will click on the image and click recovery and swipe so after that just go to this button and click on reboot to recovery and this may take few seconds so you can see the TWRP 3.6 basically booted now what I will do is click the storage to my usb otg and click on the c12 or zip file and it automatically changed to zip so i will just flash it so currently i am having some problems so what i will do is i will go to wipe format data type yes and then i will go to reboot and reboot to recovery so the twrp has booted again so i will go to that directory again and try flashing the zip file so after rebooting once again you can see the OZ file has been started flashing and if it has not started then you may need to change the cache to ext4 so make sure that the data and cache both are on ext4 then after rebooting to recovery if you flash it you will see that the file is flashing successfully and you can see it's almost done 
and guys whenever you see errors just format data and reboot to recovery that's how i successfully flashed the file and as i said you must check if the data and cache is on ext4 before flashing and my cache was on f2fs that's why i changed it to ext4 and the file started flashing so that's how i flashed the file so you can see the file is flashed so after flashing the zip file go to home and select the disable vpmeter image if you cannot see it click on install image and you will be able to see it just click on it select the vpmeter and flash after flashing the vpmeter go to wipe format data ips and just click on reboot system now the realme ui will boot and if you want the root to be installed you can flash the magis 27 just after the view meter and the device will be rooted so you can see the realme logo has appeared so you can see the startup screen has appeared now i can simply set up the phone and start using the stock rom so this is how you can get back to realme ui after using the android 13 or android 14 based rom so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next one bye bye